All right. Oh yeah, for sure. Hi, where have you been? And he has way more I've compassion than most people in in his rank. Where did you get him? Like in the first place. Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the northern territory. <gasps> we get to learn about where Torvald they were came from. In the snowfield when they heard his cries and well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the <laughs> north. Such was his mastery of you ether, do. he could cast magics on command. His wow. Name was Fenrir. Is he a descendant Fenrir of Fenrir? The wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. What? A girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. What? What? Just like Fenrir. What? People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. That's Just sick! When his master needed him the most. That is so sick! You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> he looks so <laughs> smug. You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. Aww. <laughs> and regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. So cute. So cute. Phrasing? I'm pretty sure he meant what he said. I'm pretty sure he meant what he said. Like, he, he literally did mean that. I'm pretty sure. Because you know how dogs get. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, sick. She got it done. It ain't brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Yeah. You wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. <sighs> I wish Miss Midador would let us help her with her dungeoneering. I wonder what she's doing. Dungeoneering, huh? Do we get like new stuff we can do in this game? Don't. I'm, I'm gonna be on this game forever. I don't mind it though. <laughs> like, keep it coming. Even the side quests have me like so freaking intrigued. I can't. All right. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes.
Yeah? <laughs> what? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Huh? Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. Who? A guest? Who? For your trouble. Oh, your it's pleasure. Uncle! In hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Ah! Uh. Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> I love his uncle so much! <laughs> Meanwhile... Dalmechian government seems oh, peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmechs empty their treasuries for us. What is up of with this woman and that kid? This would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Shit, it reminds me of freaking uh, Lady Stark's sister and her son. The ones in the now, the area, I think come it's called. To the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. Thank you! There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. His son's going to see what kind of monster every he is. Home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Oh my God. He's not happy. And of course she is because she's a monster too. Yes, sir.
Huh. Prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. He doesn't want to see his innocent people hurt. This dude doesn't give a crap. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Can you imagine how crazy it is if he sides with Clive? And have the dominant of Ifrit who's able to have a bunch of dominance powers and Bahamut on the side of good? Like, imagine? No. Gregor, forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. The heck you mean? And then this woman just, oh, I hate her so much. That smile, I want to slap it off her face. Ooh. She's literally a monster. What is Uncle Byron doing here? She's like, Only one way to find out. she's like Professor Umbridge in the actual book times 20 in evil, in the evil scale. She's Prince Joffrey times a hundred. The little ones have been up to their old tricks. Just one thing after another around here. Let's go say hi to our uncle, our uncle. <laughs> so. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was, I. He saved a lot I of people. For you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> Cap! <laughs> and I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Huh. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. August? It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. 
a fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang? A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed Days before a galley could lurch into port. Huh. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it. There was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candlewood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Oh. Is Uncle so cool? Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop by here. With a little help from Sid, of course. <laughs> Alright, no side quest that I can see. Of course. No hunts. Good, what good, 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 no good, good. Otto. Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzar and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's, and only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. Huh. I've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. Gary, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Freaking Gab! Alright. I love that dude. They have such good other characters in this game. Alright, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure.
<clears throat> Away to adventure! Great. We're going to the desert. I'm so glad to be back in Arizona. I was a young man when last I walked this path. Aww. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. You ready to ride, Uncle? We're taking chocobos. Ready, go. I'm shocked he has a yellow one too. Oh no, because Ambrosia is really rare. The dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Which series? Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. <laughs> you were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. How cute. That is so cute. Who do you think those soldiers were? This way? Oh, oh! Is it an oasis? Ah, there she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Sure, Uncle. Let's go. Thanks, girl. Be safe, sweetie. Uh oh. Oh. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? I keep trying to get screenshots without the text on there, but whatever. Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Sweet baby. He's gonna be like, alright. We gonna keep an eye on you. I freaking love Clive's cape. Day to you eating <laughs> sorry about my pal he only talks when his mouth's full <laughs> what do you recommend well if you're after something oh, right. right we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey <laughs> two bowls of that then an ale right you are hey girl coming yeah. 
apologize to apologize? Uh, would you rather be my squire? <laughs> would you rather be my squire? It does this, so it's so cool. No way. <laughs> They're really in the same tavern right now? Oh. Your grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. She's gonna run into Clive. You know, does she even know what he looks like? Because I don't think she's ever actually met him. Yeah. But like, would she know exactly what he looks like? Those are big old tankards! Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Oh. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. Oh, don't don't look too That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. No, what? Oh man, I love his uncle, but that was really dumb. Oh man. Cool. Sorry. Mr. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. It's not for him, though. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. <laughs> They're all trying to leave. Funny. I can't. Take <laughs> Try it.
Ich I can watch as it killed him slowly. <laughs> That's what he gets when properly treated with urine, lime, salt, and a lengthy soak in chocobo brains. This icor flecked skin will make for a fine piece of leather. It what? Okay, I I wish I didn't read that. I wish I didn't read that. That's something that doesn't need to be read. <laughs> For your trouble. <laughs> uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> I love this dude so much. What the heck? Oh, now she now she knows who it is, for sure. Now's our chance. Your Grace. I'm fine. <laughs> Poor Joshua. He's holding all of that just for Clive. Oh, oh, I think he can feel Joshua. Clive? Oh, you just missed him. Dang, why is he? <laughs> I know he's trying to keep Mythos away, but like, say hi to your brother once in a while, yeah? What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. You're not gonna tell your uncle? Come on. You know something's wrong. Why wouldn't you tell him? There's your baby. to find Kupka before, we do now. The Rawlers said it themselves. Their guest is what do you mean? Fang. There's no clicking. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. I'm not taking any screenshots for later use. For thumbnails. Only thumbnails. Definitely not for other recreational purposes. Close the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. What about the hair? It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. <laughs> we have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. 
We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. <laughs> Sid. That's exactly what I mean to do. Hey, townsfolk! I'm like getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Light it for Gilbert's sake! <sighs> Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well... We're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. One second. Right. Oops. <laughs> what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Sure, uncle. Sure, uncle. I don't want to. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Let's we'll see here. Whoa. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Excellent. Silver Platter! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. 
He trusts us. Dang. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. What? Fine. I don't know why people keep messing with me. Did they not see how I fought in the bar? Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. More of you? All right. As if watching me take on four of you at once wasn't enough. All right. You guys can do whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> Oops. Right? I'd be like, no, you know what? Not today. I don't feel like it. This isn't that important. Ah, fucked up. And see this. I don't know where they thought they were gonna go with this. Like, come on. Like, there's no way they didn't at least hear it. I summoned a big tornado inside a building. There's no way they did at least hear it for miles. Like, come on. All right. What was that? Icons? Okay, yeah, let's go fight that guy. <laughs> Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly Not call yet. that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the I, lock of leisure, then. Why do I feel like she's probably hot and the uncle's gonna be, like, Twitter painted? To the lock of leisure. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Take a sniff, good sir. The finest fabric! Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly Wait, a man the hair? I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Ah, oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up. Uh, tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. 
And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them yeah. jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... With the bun ears, that'd be so cute. So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. He's handsome. Not as Fine. handsome as Clive, but he's handsome. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh. No, for real. Five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. <laughs> Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? Oh, no. My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. All right. I think I'm going to try to finish this quest here and then we're going to end. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. For the best drop in Dalamil, visit the final sting. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Offer money. Fine. Do you think they'll be back soon? I need a new dress. Fresh, Greg. Warm from the oven. The most fragrant herbs and spices. A deposit. Hunter. Yeah, basically. Do you have a moment? 
Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned guilt. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Okay. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Let's see then. Oh. What was all that crashing and banging? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? <laughs> we Have didn't mean to. Trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. We didn't mean to break all your furniture. I hope he gave enough my, uh, gil to, to cover for all of it. That's true. I didn't mean to. I was just, I was just trying to, you know, save myself, I guess. Who is it? They were trying to, to hurt me and... Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. You're the fastest One ship? One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. They started it! What are you doing, Uncle? Yeah, what are you doing? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A only? small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men. Just yeah. Just as you arranged. I love his uncle. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. All right. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. All right, we're going to meet up with these soldiers. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Yeah. Let's go. No. Faster.
Dang! Uncle, you don't have to ride that poor Chocobo so hard. No, none of that! Because it's YouTube! Alright. I wish... Take it from here. <laughs> yes, yes, say hi to the future YouTubers. Hello. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice. You They're gonna jump you. 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all you weren't lying about the clarity but what of security if i were to be stopped on the road what guarantee have i that it wouldn't be seized as property of the republic because these crystals are no longer the property of the republic you're not buying from us you're buying from them of course we're getting jumped yep and we have no more jurisdiction here than you my lord but we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Oh. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. Yo, thank you, thank you so much for a 20 gifted subs, let's go! Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Thank Kill you. them. Kill them both. Oh, man. <laughs> Helios, how are you doing? What the heck? It's been a minute. This one. Let go! It's not over yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Over here. Have you been? How about a little tornado in the desert, huh? You guys saw oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Aww. Oh, no, not the birds. Come on, not the chocobos. I want to actually fight them. Out. 
sorry, buds. Ambrosia, don't look! Well. Yeah, I still feel bad about it though cuz they're only doing what they're trained to do. They don't really know oh, I, Same with like the last of us. I hate I hate hurting the dogs in that cuz they're they're just doing what they're told Well, that wasn't too bad How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Great bid. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, oh, but that's perhaps not. that's for the best. How so long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Now you have a bunch of crystals. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Okay. Better place. That's nice though. One day. Oh man, even a day in Tokyo would be so cool. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Oh, that is cool. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Oh, you shut your mouth! Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, <laughs> so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there, too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... <laughs> <laughs> Disney! Here, Disney's the best. This. Sweet! Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stoluses back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh man, I'm sorry, Helios. I can barely get it cute! Oh, me a lost land. To his Achilles. Oh, that's sick. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, that's... 
That's awesome. I'm glad you had fun. All right. Oh, there's side quests here. But that is for another day. All right. 